Oh yeah, thank you. Hi guys, welcome to Animal Kingdom. April Fools, we're at Epcot, guess what? We're at the Flower and Garden Festival and I'm gonna do something crazy today. I'm gonna get goofy and I'm gonna see if I can get into Space 220 with a solo reservation with a walk up. What do you think? You think we can do it? Um, I'm here by myself, I dropped George off at school. Mommy is in rehearsal and uh, I'm just gonna swim around Epcot today and uh, see if I can eat some space food. Let's do it, okay? Woohoo! Oh, you goof! Good morning! <laughs> There's Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. Okay, the characters are out. I hear that we're gonna be doing char character interactions now. It's April 1st, they made that announcement yesterday. So, uh, I'm excited. I think I'm ready to hug Mickey Mouse, aren't you? Okay, let's go under Spaceship Earth and walk over to Space 220. It's gonna be a very space city day. I'm spacing out. 10 minutes, stand by. This is one of those days where I don't know, am I gonna ride something? Um, after you move to Florida, uh, sometimes you just go to Disney World just to go to Disney World. Um, there are days when we don't even ride a ride, it's crazy. I learned that from our friends the Sunbergs. Uh, my buddy Brad Sundberg just comes here to exercise and walk around Epcot. Okay, I'm not exercising, I'm eating. Let's do it. All right, for Flower and Garden, it's like to a peony and beyond. Get it, a peony, infinite? I'm not, it's terrible. Dad jokes. Okay, uh, Space 220 is over here in the corner and it looks like a line is starting. And uh, this is what I'm here for. So I'm gonna go get in line. I think that's what people are doing. And if I get bored, I can go do Mars. <laughs> Mission Mars, Mission Space. Mission Mars. 10 minutes, can't beat it. Okay, here's Space 220. Mm -hmm. Okay, Trish was amazingly helpful. I am first in line for the 1130 bar lounge seating. In the bar lounge, um, you can order off a la carte menu or you can do the prefix. So uh, the prefix now was 49. I think it's 55 now for lunch. I think it's 79 for uh, dinner. So this is a cheaper way to do it. So it'll be fun to see how it works. Okay, I got to review my choreography and my lines for the show I'm doing. And I've got about 20 more minutes till we open here. Here is the menu, two course lunch. So I think it was 49 and now it's 55. Big Bang Barada, Starry Calamari, Blue Moon Cauliflower. Okay, that's what Lindsay would get. Tuna, Neptuna Tartar, Centauri Caesar. So you can do this a la carte and don't have to spend 55 bucks. The kids meal is $29. Uh, I think it comes with a Cosmic Cupcake. And then dinner looks like identical menu on the liftoffs. But then on the on the course, there are some heftier lobster stuff with jumbo crab. Oh, you add twenty-two dollars on for that filet mignon. So yeah, what am I gonna do? Steak frites? Gotta try a couple things. You know what Georgia would get? Georgia would get like the uh, pop rock drink with all kinds of things on it. Maybe I'll get that in honor of her. I don't know if I need a grown-up drink this morning. <laughs> Okay, it's 11.35. I can't believe I'm the first one in. They've taken some tables. This will be the first one to the barn. Pretty cool. Elevate your diet. Hi. Thank you. Ooh. I've got a boarding pass. Cool, and I'm asking up because I can't miss work. Can't miss work. Elevate your diet. Thank you.
vegetables. Cool, spinning. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> imagine what the Galactic Star Cruiser is like if this is this cool. This is neat. Georgia would love this. This is so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. This is one of our Centauri space stations. We actually have a few more coming in soon. Cool, and these are wine in yeah, here? That's cool. Yeah, wine right over here. Every wine that you see right here is actually in our wine list. Beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. Well, welcome to Centauri. You'll thank you. Right over here in this bar. Excellent. Okay, Susie is my bartender, and I acted. I asked for the craziest, wackiest space cocktail that she could give me. Um, I'm the only one here at the bar, but everyone is going to join me soon. So uh, I wanted to make sure and uh, go ahead and order first. And I'm going to get some lunch, too. Okay, I'm seeing some uh, cotton candy involved. Look at that. Good. So we switched to vodka and prosecco instead of rum. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. What's the best? Always ask a bartender like, what's the best? Because they know. Thank you, Susie. Of course. Are you ready? I'm ready. Thank you, Susie. No. Ooh, it's melting. <laughs> oh, Georgia would love that. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Just a touch of sugar. Okay, my drink is like a uh, Aperol spread. My friend Jim would really love it. I think I'm gonna get the Astro Devil's eggs, the fried cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower it looks like, and short rib sliders. Three things. Three things. Cool. This one's gonna have pop rocks. That's what Georgia would get. Okay, the food has arrived. Um, the cauliflower looks awesome. Look at this. Looks like it's got a little spice to it. And look at the sliders. I didn't know it came with fries. I'm in trouble. I was gonna also order the eggs, but now this is like, this is two meals. It is. Do you mind saying hello? Hi, hey everyone. I we, meet you here in the space. We Please love, come, thank you. We're, we're in outer space and we're loving it. You are 220 miles above Earth. 220? Yes, That's sir. why it's called Space 220. It is, and you know it's a real space station. The name is Centauri. Centauri. And yes, we are 220 miles above Earth. I love it, and the oxygen here feels wonderful. I'm breathing normally. It's great. That's good. That is really nice. It's warm and it's cooked well. It's not like too well done. Uh, but I really like the cauliflower. If you like buffalo, like that buffalo sauce. And it's good like hunks. It's almost like balls of cauliflower. I like this place. I highly recommend it. Just get here early and get a reservation. We have the chicken and waffle up here. Ooh, ah, that looks beautiful. And you saved me like 18 bucks. But that looks really good. Okay, this is where you want to sit over here. Wow. See the people flying away? Whoa. Yeah. So if you can request a table over here, this is the restaurant. The lounge, the lounge begins after the first set of tables. So this is where you want to sit. This is thrilling. But the bar is awesome because it's a way to get in and see the restaurant. But that's amazing. Beautiful. But we were seated right up here. Boop. Okay, I was skeptical about this place. I thought it was like a one-trick pony. It's amazing. The food was stellar. The bartender was stellar. The drinks were stellar. And it's cool. There's no loud music. It's got this like Tomorrowland ambiance going on and uh, my daughter would love this. I gotta bring Lindsay and Georgia back because this is really cool. Now I need to find the space bathroom. <laughs> I mean come on, in the bathroom? That's awesome. <laughs>
so. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Space 220, and look forward to seeing you again soon. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Too cool. This is way too cool. <laughs> We're used to space. Thank you. It was awesome. Yeah. Full review. Ten out of ten. That is awesome. So, uh, what I heard was you can get that reservation sixty days out, but if you're a hotel guest, you get it ninety days out. And that's why I haven't been able to get one because I live here and don't need a Disney hotel. So those are going to be gone. So when you enter in the park, that's when you're going to get one. Or it would help to have a uh, VIP tour guide, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. I need to go make one more stop in Epcot before we end this episode. You guys mind uh, going with me? I have a friend I want to visit. Um, speaking of space, Club Cool is out of this world and it's open. Let's go. Let's drink weird cokes. Okay, we get a little cup here. Oh, this one, the Beverly from Italy. Oh, Moldova, the Viva. Georgia would like that. Fruity. Ooh, Beverly's on each one. Okay, uh, Viva was amazing. Let's try Royal now. Just see. Watermelon. That is a watermelon soda. I haven't had that. Mmm. Let's try Joy from Korea. Lychee. Apple lychee. That is not my jam. Country Club. You just need an ounce of this. Mmm. That's like cream soda, but orange or something. Really excellent. How about bonbon anglais? Mm, that is like banana. Disgusting. Still disgusting. And this one is the killer. Beverly. It is completely bitter on the side of your tongue. Let's do sour plum. Mm, sour plum. This is going to be good. Mmm, actually tastes like smoked bacon. I don't reckon I recommend the sour plum. Thank you, Mason. Mm. Okay, so out of those like eight, mm, I shouldn't have ended with sour plum. Tastes like smoked bacon. Yikes. Two of those were gross. One of them was bad. And then like the other five are delicious. Check that out, it's right by the creation shop, right here near Mission Space. My, my, my. Look at all our friends. Look at these, look at these cuties over here. I love our Nemo friends. There's Gil and Bloat. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> I'm in my own clamshell. Um, this is my first time riding this by myself, but um, I need a little Nemo time, I think. <laughs> Where is Nemo? perfect day. Goofy and Pluto are still out here slaving away in the hot sun. Space 220. I got to see my Nemo friends. 
Lindsay's at rehearsal today and I'm not. Thank you for joining me at Space 220. I highly recommend it. Go check it out. Get a reservation in the morning. They, they dump a bunch because I think hotel guests that they reserve them for, um, I think they release a bunch. So just go the first thing in the morning and wait. And uh, that was awesome. Remember, thanks for watching. And if you like our vibe, you should subscribe.